Back in the 1990s, the internet was just taking off, and it was amazing. You could learn all this stuff about how things work and how they're made. You could gather with like-minded people on places like message boards. It was good stuff. But then big giant social media companies came along, and everyone started mindlessly gathering there and being spoon-fed crap instead of seeking out information on their own. But now that people are starting to learn how crappy the giant social media companies are, they're starting to go back to forming different places for people to gather again. And one of those is a social network called Minds. It was formed back in 2011 with the goal of bringing a free, open source, and sustainable social network to the world, according to their founder, Bill Ottman. He saw all the spying, the data mining, and algorithm manipulation the big sites were doing, so he formed Minds. The code is open source. It includes an encrypted messenger service and anonymity for users. And users can delete any data about themselves that they want. They also have no political agenda whatsoever. In other words, the exact opposite of Facebook. And now they've just released their new Digital Bill of Rights, which were outlined by digital rights organizations like the Electronic Frontier Foundation. The rights state that they are not liable for what others say on their site, that they will not remove any content without judicial authority making them, they won't honor any requests to restrict content unambiguously, they'll respect due process, and lots of other stuff, which basically amounts to they'll protect free speech above all else. Which again is very different from what Facebook is doing. The other way they're differentiating themselves is by actually sharing revenue with people who post stuff on their site. If you post content that a lot of people are liking and engaging with, you can earn monetary rewards, along with reaching lots of people. Which is again very different from Facebook, who is the only one profiting from your constant usage. And it seems to be working what they're doing, because Minds now has over a million registered users. To me, it's an example of how ready people are to get the hell off of Facebook and go back to the way things were in the 90s, man. Decentralized. Up to the user to seek out what interests them instead of being spoon-fed by monopolists. Who knows? Maybe with all these people leaving Facebook, they'll actually start using their minds again.